Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to test the DC motors and the winding inside it. So the DC motor contains a rotor and a stator. Here this is its terminals, plus terminal and minus or negative terminal. So this is the plus or the positive terminal. And here we have the negative terminal. The same for this. Positive terminal, negative terminal. This part, the red part, means positive. So this is basically the winding inside the motor, or this is the stator. Okay? Inside this hole, we have the rotor. Okay? So, of course, I'm going to show you how to test this winding using the multimeter. Of course, for each motor or winding, you will find an integrated circuit, as you can see, that controls the speed of the rotor. So we're going to use, of course, the multimeter. We're going to select the continuity option to test the winding or the inductors. So let's test these two motors using the multimeter, of course. So first of all, you should locate the positive terminal and the negative terminal and as you can see we have a low resistance means the winding inside the motor is good so let's check this motor also basically we check the winding inside it we should get a low resistance about zero ohm as you can see we have zero ohm means this motor also is a good motor here basically this is the winding inside the motor we're gonna now check this winding so basically this is just one winding it's not four inductors here just one it has just two terminals as you can see v1 and v2 so if you focus here you can see the wires here we have two wires okay the terminals of the whole winding okay so this is just one winding that we cannot check as you can see here we have wires two wires okay so this is just one winding. So let's check it. We should get a low resistance in the multimeter. If you get open line or just one in the multimeter, it means the winding is scattered. So let's check. We should get a low resistance. As you can see in the multimeter. This is basically about 0 ohm. 0, 0, 008. This is good. So now I'm going to power this motor, so of course using the power supply, and check the rotation of the motor. So of course you should always respect the positive terminal and the negative terminal. So the first thing is to determine positive and negative terminals. So we're gonna use of course this adapter as you can see. So this is AC to DC adapter. This is of course 5 volt DC output, okay? And 150 milliamps. So I'm going to use this adapter. This is a normal adapter to check the motors. So let's check this motor. So here we have 5 volt in these two cables. So the positive to positive terminal and the negative to negative one. So let's check the motor should be a rotation, as you can see. So if you change the cables, you put the positive in the negative terminal and the negative in the positive terminal, the direction of the rotation of the motor will be changed. Okay? So basically, this is the stator. Okay, so a stator is the fixed component of the motor and the rotor is the rotating part. As you can see, this is the rotor, the rotating part of the motor. 